Hello, little traveler friends, and um, basically a family at this point. It's been so many years. Um, I'm very, very excited. We've got a new book coming out, The Christmas Walk Clues. This is the proof copy, obviously. It's not for resale, um, but because it's coming out in a couple of weeks. Uh, it's in on the back of the Christmas catalog this year, which I'm very excited about. This is book number seven in the Mac and Millie mystery series, which all takes place right here in Geneva. Um, and it's been so great. The experience has been uh, just amazing and, and basically magical every single year. Um, you know, coming here, uh, signing, talking to everyone that who are also fans of the Tiny Wanderer or you know, the little traveler as, as it is in reality. Um, but, you know, just to, just very, very excited about this book, Christmas Walk Clues, which is the spiritual successor to the Christmas Walk Caper, uh, which is the, you know, the first in the series. Um, so I'm very excited about it. So, um, but now, enough about that. Let's go into some of the questions we got from little traveler fans. And, and, you know, JB fans, which I'm, you know, just, I love. So, all right, so it says, what's your favorite part of the writing process? Um, the favorite part of the writing process is when it's over. No, okay, no, no, no. Uh, favorite part is the creative element, right? Just coming up with the plot points and coming up with the, um, you know, in, in, obviously with the Mac and Millie books, the different forms of magic and how that interplays with the plot. And, you know, writing mystery novels is, is always very fun because you're pulling all the strings. And um, the best part about writing is when you're using your imagination and you're in another world and you are just, you're, you're creating. So that is my favorite. Okay, next question. Um, what real life Geneva places are featured in Christmas Walk Clues. So obviously, um, right now we're in The Little Traveler. The Tiny Wanderer is always in the Macavilly Mysteries. Um, and this time we're kind of all over the place. Uh, so there's actually St. Mark's um, Church, St. Peter's Church. Um, we also are going to be at the, you know, the police station because, uh, you know, that's what happens in Machiavelli sometimes. And then we're also going to be at Fabian Villa, okay, Riverbank, which is a big part of it. Um, I don't want to give any too much away, but a lot of the, the grand finale was, you know, is, is there. So very excited about that. Um, all right, next question. Many of your books in the Machiavelli series are set during Geneva festivals. Which of Geneva's festivals is your personal favorite and why? Okay, so my favorite festival is obviously the, I mean, it goes without saying, the, the Christmas Walk, <laughs> obviously. Uh, two, two books <laughs> with the name Christmas Walk in them. Uh, I, I just, I, I, I think I am not saying anything original here. Everyone I've met through the signings here over the years, so many people have come up and said, this place is like a Hallmark, you know, card, a Hallmark movie, you know, it's it's amazing during the Christmas walk. So uh, by far, my my favorite is the Christmas walk uh, because of just the, the magic in the air, the, you know, the Christmas tree lighting, you know, Santa, everything. It's, it, and being here, being a part of it is, is a is is wonderful it, it's really one of the joys of you know being a being an author you know um okay next question besides geneva and the annual christmas walk what other inspirations did you draw on for writing christmas walk clues okay so interesting thing about christmas walk clues is that again it's non-stop my I, I kind of i plot things very tightly narrative I kind of keep you going I don't want to I don't want to lose the reader because there's so many other distractions um, in today's world uh, but so I took it's funny I didn't even so actually the main inspiration was the cover which actually I made I had this cover made years ago um, and I didn't even have a plot for the book so a lot of this 
um, comes from the cover. Like I wanted to make, uh, you know, so I had to think about this plot in regards to the cover and the name of the book, Christmas Walk Clues, um, which is which is this is the backside um, of it as well. So the cover was a big part of it. Um, my editor, who is amazing and does a, a great job, she likened the book to like National Treasure just in Frozen Geneva. So so it is very National Treasure like. I don't know if you've seen that movie with Nicolas Cage. But you know, finding clues and then following them and going to another place and trying to find that clue and searching around and um, in the meantime, you know, it's Christmas and there's snowflakes and Christmas lights and people try to enjoy the Christmas walk. It's a it's it's a very very fun novel that I think blends the suspense that you would normally get in a Mac and Millie mystery with a, a really a lot of heart. Um, this one uh, just is. One of my more, uh, I would say, personal books. It just has a lot of themes in it that, that are dear to me. So I am super excited to be pairing, partnering up again with The Little Traveler. And the only place in Geneva you can find these books is right here at The Little Traveler. All seven, now there will be seven, Mac and Millie Mysteries. So Christmas Walk Clues, it's out this Christmas season. Thank you.